What is going on, guys? It is Megman here, bringing you another video. And um, for until Christmas, I'm just gonna basically be doing these little vlogs every once in a while to you know catch up on what I've been doing. And I don't know why, but I just got the sudden urge to make a first-person shooter video. And I I don't know why, but it was a lot of fun making it. Um, I'm actually editing it right now. Um, I'm not sure when it's gonna be up. It's gonna. It's definitely not gonna be up until after Christmas. It's gonna. Like I'm seriously working a lot on it. Like um, as much special effects as I can, um, music, stuff like that. You know. Anyway, some people um, that um, have already watched the video um, were wondering how I made the um, first-person camera setup. Well, basically, most times people are like. Oh yeah, just get a helmet, strap a, strap your trusty old GoPro to your face, and pretend like you know exactly where the aiming sights are gonna go down. Cause I mean, it's really hard to decide exactly where you your hand and needs to be whenever you aim down and stuff. And it's very complicated. So I decided to um, make a video showing you guys the best way to make a first person shooter video. Now, um, first off, you're gonna need, well, you're gonna wanna use something like an assault rifle or like a shotgun. Um, right now I was using a shock, or, um, uh, an assault rifle and a shotgun, but that doesn't, I'm, I'm gonna be showing you how to use it on your assault rifle. This assault rifle was about like tw uh, 15 bucks, believe it or not, um, on this website. Uh, I don't know what it was, but, um, it was, here, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description, definitely. Um, Guys, y'all should go check it out. It's a really good, um, this is a really, really good gun. Um, there's nothing really wrong with it, no. Nothing wrong with it. It's just, I'm, I'm gonna have to buy another mag, because mine broke, um, whenever it got rusted by the rain. Oops, camera moved. Anyways, um, y'all should definitely go check this, uh, website out. Um, it's very good. Link in the description. Um, has a lot of other airsoft needs and goods, too, so... Not just um, spring rifles. There's also uh, automatics, pistols, all that junk. But for right now, I'm going to be using this assault rifle. Now, basically, what you're going to want to do is if this this tutorial is mainly for a GoPro. If you can find some weird way to hook it up like this with like an iPhone or something, by all means, go ahead. Um, I'm just telling you right now. This is mainly for a GoPro instructional video not a iPhone or a camcorder video now so I got food in my mouth um, basically whenever you get your GoPro it does not it does not come out like this it, it comes with like one of these little um, attachment things like one of these little extenders and then um, the case and the GoPro and then the thing that straps onto it Basically, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go out and buy, and I'm I know it's gonna be costing a little bit of money, but it's I think this is like twenty bucks. The bike, um, the bike mount. You're gonna want to go out and buy the bike mount, and it's like you can get an Academy Sports and Outdoors or um, Sports Authority. That's that's I think where I got mine, and um, yeah, Sports Authority. That's where I got mine. Um. Sun and Ski Sports has a uh, GoPro booth. I know they do. Um, just trust me. It's. A, I mean, making a first-person shooter is not going to be. Um, you know, if, if you want to be an, a successful, um, if you want to make an ex a successful one with very very good um, quality video, GoPro is the way to go. I do not have a GoPro three or a GoPro two. I have I have the just the first GoPro and it works perfect for me like I don't need anything like super expensive like the GoPro 3 I think is about like four hundred dollars or something the two is three hundred dollars and this one was two hundred dollars so this one is definitely the way to go um I'm sorry if you guys I mean Christmas time is coming up so I mean hey you might want to ask for a GoPro for Christmas that's what I did last year um and I got it man it, I mean now since like I'm a teen and stuff like it's it's like, eh, you don't really want that much for Christmas, but what whatever you do want is gonna be expensive and stuff. So, hey, why not why not get a GoPro? 
on with the video. So, um, you're gonna get the bike thing. It's gonna come with some extra little, um, attachment thingies. So basically, you get the, you get the bike pole attachment thing. You get this, you screw the attachment onto here, you screw another attachment onto here, then you screw the original attachment right here that came with the GoPro. And then you, uh, get the, um, reverse thing that, that the, uh, bike, uh, uh mount gave you. It's like, uh, basically something that switches, like, you'll see it attaches like it's supposed to face that way, but then this one switches it around and it makes it face that way. This is what makes the, um, makes it face the direction that you're going or what you're riding or anything. You can actually use this to just ride your bike and stuff like that. Um, but for, in this case, I'm going to be using it to, um, make a first person shooter. Now, basically what you want to do is you want to take the very stock of your, like the stock of your gun, the very, very end, the most back place you can get to the end of the, um, gun. And it's going to be very, very hard to set it down. Um, I don't know. So basically, here, I'll set it down like, like this, actually. Hopefully. Um, so basically, you wrap this around the stock. Alright. Here, wait, actually, I'm gonna make mine a little, yeah, right there. Like, pretty much as far back as you want, or as you can. You're going to want to take the um, thing that you got here. All these screws are going to be coming with the actual, either the GoPro or the, uh, ow, balls. You might need to unscrew this a little bit. Like, this comes with the bike mount. Um, these are always included with the bike mount. They pretty much would hold the uh, bike mount together, um, which are the screws. Hopefully you don't have any trouble with this. Um, I had a bit of trouble connecting this because just because the fact it just was complicated for me. I'm a complicated person. Yeah. Okay, that's the way to go. You just screw this all the way. I know this is a very very bad thing, but just it's it. You know, you you kind of you guys get what I'm trying to go for, right? Um. Oh wait, that's not a good thing to do. It's righty tidy. It's righty tidy, right? No, no. Apparently, it's lefty tidy. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing here. Apparently, um, can we just? This is very, very confusing. Just, I don't know how to screw things in, if you know what I mean. Um, just screw all these, all this stuff in, and it should be like this, okay? You may be wondering, why is the camera facing like this? Well, that's where the, um, the, the, uh, flip attachment comes in. Because you just go like this, and, hello, you got this. It's attached to your camera, and you can start videotaping stuff um, from your GoPro. And uh, this is actually a lot better because it'll be able to see. It'll be able to see pretty much up into here. Let me show you. It'll pretty much be able to see all of this. It may. It may be able to see the mag if the fish eye reaches it. Um, I haven't really looked at much of the footage to really catch it. Um, but it does show like most of this up forward and it looks like a, it actually looks like something from a video game because like you're not like it like the gun part doesn't look unrealistic. It actually looks really real. The only reason that this part isn't yellow is because I had to um, spray paint it for the video. Um, but after the video I will be putting yellow tape over it just to aware people that I am not a killer on the loose trying to kill people. But, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, this has been a how-to tutorial video from Mega Man, um, on how to make a first-person shooter with a GoPro. Now,
<laughs> you can see the insides yellow, but that's it. Um, now, um, yeah, I guess that's it um, for now. Um, if you guys need any, have any questions about how to uh, set up the GoPro or anything, um, please feel free to uh, message me on YouTube and leave me a like or a subscribe. Thanks a lot. Bye.